Hey folks, I'm back again to do a painted review for one of the Dungeons & Lasers box sets that I got when the, with the Encounters uh, crowdfunding project that they did recently. They currently have uh, another crowdfunding project. The, uh, it's kind of a 5e tie-in with their own, uh, their own set of creatures and, and things like that. It looks really, really neat, and a lot of the stuff that's included in here is included there in kind of maybe a little bit different way. A huge part of the gaming hobby, for me at least, uh, because I come from 40k and stuff, is the painting and the, and the assembly of models. So what I think I'd like to do is, on the weeks where I do work on these projects, and lately I've been making so many videos that I actually it's cut into my painting time quite a bit. Uh, otherwise, I would be all the way done with all this Dungeons and Laser stuff. I, I normally only, uh, with the board game videos and stuff, I used to only make about maybe one every month or one every every few weeks, and now I've been doing about three a week. So it's seriously cut into the time. But I did complete this box set. I was what's funny is I got this Dungeons and Lasers uh, crowdfunder. I think it was on GameFound actually, and uh, it. And I haven't built any of the core things that I bought. So I bought like the Elven Woods and I bought these ruins. And I haven't done either of them. I've been sort of focused on these like little extra sets you get. And one of the thing that's great with Archon Studios is with these, uh, with these crowdfunding projects that they do, you get a lot of extra stuff. In fact, I could not resist. I didn't get in with the Owlbear family and all that stuff. In fact, I was not going to pledge on their latest Kickstarter because uh, it it ends right uh, on an off week of my paychecks and I and I really didn't want to uh, take that hit that week so I've thrown in a dollar I actually did a little bit more than a dollar but I've thrown in a, a a small amount and I'll probably be picking a bunch of that stuff up in the pledge manager that inevitably will happen very soon. All right, so let's take a look at this box set. Now, this was one of the Kickstarter extras, one of the stretch goals. This is the box one of two uh, of the stretch goals. Much like the Tarask, if you watched my unboxing, I actually unboxed and showed uh, all the sprues and everything that come with each of the boxes that I got with the uh, Dungeons and Lasers Encounters. Uh, this box, of course, is empty because everything in there is painted. I don't know why I was trying to open it up. And here are the contents, uh, of course, you know, unpainted and everything. You've got uh, two huts. You've got a little uh, cage, a swamp hut, watchtower, Ygrid the giant, uh, a tree of spirits, which is just basically a, a blue tree. And you've got a, a stagecoach with a horse. You've got a dwarven entrance and an enchanted tree, uh, all of which I've painted. Except, of course, for the tree, which uh, which is just assembled. You don't have to paint it at all. It's got its own its own thing. So uh, let's take a look here at all the different things inside. Probably starting with these Viking huts. Uh, these Viking huts, I went a little heavy on the yellow. And I <laughs> and actually now looking at them uh, in photography, I probably will... Uh, I'll probably will go back in there and touch these up a bit more and kind of tone that yellow down. But it does give a nice kind of hay look to it. Uh, all of these things I painted very quickly with contrast paints or a combination of uh, normal uh, acrylic paints, contrast paints, and speed paint. I have, uh, I, I tend to just kind of rotate around uh, for whichever color that I need and what, whatever effect seems to work the best. The cage is kind of a tricky one. Uh, this looks like something that would be ripe for uh, painting up or building like all but a quarter of it and maybe putting a skeleton or somebody inside and then or magnetizing that last quarter of the thing would be neat. I, I glued mine all the way together and just kind of uh, struggled to paint the inside of it, but I got it done. These things don't go together super, super clean. I mean, they're not bad at all, but there's a, you, you will have to fill in some gaps and kind of do some stuff to kind of uh, dress these up a little bit. But uh, none of it seemed especially difficult and uh, the models themselves are really, really neat. Very, very nice detail on everything. I really like the watchtower. Uh, it's kind of a weird kind of thing on its own and the hut uh, it seems kind of odd on its own. But I think once I put it in a swampy environment or or uh, as a lookout post somewhere in the woods i think that the the both of them look really neat 
The Dwarven Mine Entrance I thought was really cool. Uh, I, I kept a lot of these things very basic. Like, I, did, I don't dress up my terrain pieces too much. Like, I don't go too far into detail unless it's something like people might be around. I spent a lot of time on the Enchanted Tree. I thought that that was a really, uh, really, really fun model to build and uh, into paint. It was a really, it was really neat. It was my first time using one of the bases that came with it. I actually plucked that base out of one of the other box sets. So as for the stagecoach, I initially, I put, uh, I put the little piece that's supposed to go on the horse onto the end of it. I'm not sure why. And then I had trouble getting it off. It kind of got stuck in there. Uh, and then some folks pointed out that I assembled it upside down. So actually what I did was I cut that part off uh, with the little pieces of the of the cart and all. I just cut it off and I sealed it up. I drilled holes in there. I attached some magnets. I attached that thing back to the horse and now the horse is sort of magnetically attached and I don't have to kind of push that thing in and out of those little holes or anything like that. So uh, yeah, I just the horse just kind of snaps on there and it's worked out pretty good. I like the cart itself. It's got a lot of really interesting little details and, and clues about what's going on there and I uh, I think it'll be fun to kind of integrate that into a, a scenario. I've got a couple of other little market carts and stuff, so it'll be, it's always fun to have another one. I guess the coolest thing in this whole box, and the reason I, I picked this box to work on next, was the Giant. Uh, the Giant is really, really neat. Uh, it's another one where I incorporated magnets. I put a magnet right in the top of her forehead, and I also put one in her mask that she can wear. So at any point, I can kind of snap that mask on. It doesn't snap on, but it it, it, uh, it holds it there. Like, you can kind of place it there, and it just stays kind of inexplicably. So it's not like really grabbing it hard or anything, which is good for the paint. I also installed a magnet to the base, so you can just set that mask down at the base of the model, and, uh, and it'll kind of stay there. If you jarred it really hard, it, it probably wouldn't. I varied off the paint scheme on the box a little bit, uh, and just kind of did my own thing with that one. And I, I had a really good time painting it. I can't wait to integrate it into some sort of storyline. And as giants go, she's probably the best looking giant I've ever seen. Usually when giants are portrayed, they're a little bit dumpier and kind of, uh, I don't know, kind of oafish looking. But she doesn't. She looks like a, like a warrior wizard or something. So uh, it's pretty cool. So although it wasn't part of this box set, I did paint one of the Dulcere uh, sample sets. I painted the, this, this wood golem. He's a wood golem and he's got these little dudes on top of him that are kind of, uh, I guess they've summoned him and they're kind of leading him around. I wasn't really sure what color to paint them. They ended up hot pink. I, I think it's kind of up to me. That could be whatever. <laughs> I think all the artwork I saw for it was black and white and, and not very descriptive. So I just painted on something I thought was fun. And folks, that's about all I have. If you like videos like this, if you want to see my paint jobs and stuff, uh, click like and let me know that this is something you might be interested in. Uh, if not, maybe I'll just stop doing this. <laughs> That's all I got for you today. I'll be back soon with more videos. Until next time, enjoy your games, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.